biggest record company in the world. 180,000 records, first time out the gate, second time out the gate, 60,000. I want to talk to you guys about why my sales took a 60% decline. And I know the music was better the second time around because we got nominated for a Grammy the second time around. So, what's the disconnect? Because I see everybody else, if you look at Amazon, if you look at Verizon, if you look at Apple, anytime I buy something from them, they can reach me directly. Apple especially. Anytime I buy something from them, they know every single time that I'm interacting with them as a brand. So you guys are the biggest record company in the world. How come we don't know the 180,000 people who bought my first album? And to Benji's point, they said, oh, well, yeah, Apple handles that. So I said, well, um, so the 180,000 people who got my first record, we, we didn't send them an email and say I have a new one. I had a friend that actually worked at Apple, and I said, well, you know, uh, couldn't you guys make so much money if you just send an email to all the people who bought Rick Ross's album the first time and tell them they had a new one out? Wouldn't that be smart? And they said, well, we don't want to lose a subscriber over a $12 album when, when we're selling at that point, I realized that it was my responsibility to actually have that and own that relationship with the people that support me. And that's why we built this platform. And so I'm not here today to sell you my platform, but just to give you some food for thought around what it takes to actually build an audience, own an audience, because the people who own the audiences are the ones that actually make out well.